Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Surveyor 204 MKLE. This camper comes in at 27 feet tongue to bumper and weighs right at 5,300 pounds empty. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED lights so you can see at nighttime if you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have your hard shell cover with a quick access lid. Diamond plate rock guard. We have your curved radius front end with the built-in windshield as well. And back down here, you'll notice the red switch. That is a 12 volt cutoff switch, so you can kill all 12 volt power to the battery. And that way, if your camper's in storage, it won't drain the battery for you. Also up front with that little yellow sensor is gonna be for your tire pressure monitoring system that comes with it. And I'll explain more when we get to the tires here. Couple unique features with Surveyor. It is all aluminum framed, including the rafters and floor and side walls. And we also use the Asdale paneling on the inside and it is completely laminated as well. We have your front storage compartment with the magnetic door catch. Lots of storage over here. It is a pass through. We have your motion sensor light, a 12 volt charge port up here, and also an extra key for your jacks. We have four manual jacks on here, two in the front, two in the back, and the adapter right up front there. So you can use a cordless screw gun to run them up and down. Large 20 foot power awning where each leg is adjustable if the sun's coming down. We have the LED accent light underneath here. Sturdy steps getting into the camper where each leg is also adjustable. So that way if you're on different levels of ground, we have a full size entrance door and there is a full size screen door as well with an integrated window on the main door. Oversized grab handle. Also, it's a little tough to see right now, but there is an LED light behind the stairs. So at nighttime, it will illuminate the steps for you so you can see where you're stepping. Outside speakers that light up blue. We have your furnace vent here. We do have the Goodyear tires on board already. The center cap is popped off. These are the quick easy loop axles. And then right over here is that tire pressure monitoring system. It is another monitor that will go in the cab of your truck. So you can keep an eye on each tire individually with the tire pressure as you're traveling down the road. We have your TV connections out here. You get a prep table and also this griddle that comes with it as long as, it, as long, excuse me, as well as an outside shower with your hot and cold water. And then tucked underneath here, we have your black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you can hook your water hose up there and blast out the black tank for you. Two bumper, so that way you can store your sewer hose when it's not in use. We have your spare tire with the cover included. Up top, it is prepped for a backup camera, and it is also prepped for the ladder, so you can buy a telescoping ladder. That way you can get on the roof for maintenance purposes. Also, we have the two-inch receiver back here underneath the bumper, so you can attach a carrier for bicycles and all sorts of stuff here. Cable satellite connection. This is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. And now we'll make our way right up front of the slide room here. We have your water fill station. Up top, we have your fresh water. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, hook up your water hose here. That'll fill up the fresh water tank. That way you can turn on your uh, water pump and utilize that water. Down below, we have the city water. So if you're at a campground or your house, you just hook the water hose up and that'll pressurize the lines for you. Here we have your on-demand water heater. It is a tankless system, so it's gas only, but you're only using gas when you're running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. And last but not least, we have the other side of your pass-through storage compartment. And that'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Surveyor 204 MKLE. And now we'll take a look at the inside. And now we will move to the inside. You'll notice we have the queen mattress over here to the right. Nice open floor plan with this huge slide room with your theater seating and your kitchen area in the back here, directly across the, the entertainment center with your TV and the dinette here. This is a very unique floor plan. Also offering the bar stools here that come up with uh, some extra counter space. A really neat floor plan overall. We get started right inside the door here. You'll notice we have this extra window right by the bar stools. And then we have some hooks at the bottom to hang your keys on when you come inside. We have your stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible, so you can sync your phone to it. Main control panel right above that with your slide out and awning switches, light switches as well. And then up top is the solar controller for that 400 watts of solar mounted on the roof. 
With the entertainment center, we have your storage areas on both sides, TV right in the middle. We have this nice booth style dinette, plenty of room on both sides. The table will lay down and turn into another sleeping area. I'd also like to point out that right underneath here, they have another 110 outlet um, right underneath the bench seating. So if you need to sit here with a laptop or any type of work, you have a power source here as well. In the back area, right in the back corner is going to be the bathroom. On that wall, we also have your digital thermostat and that will be for your air conditioner and furnace as well. On the back wall here up top, you'll notice we have the cabinets with the glass fronts, giving it a really nice home feeling here. In the back, we have your windows on both sides. Of course, we have the bathroom on the left, the cutting board, which also doubles as a sink cover. It is the same size as the sink. Here we have this large single bowl sink with the pull down sprayer, the high rise faucet here. Underneath, we're gonna have some storage right under the kitchen sink here. And we'll open these up to take a look. As you can see, nice storage down below here. To the left of that, we are gonna have some storage drawers. And at the very bottom, we have a built-in vacuum system here. So right down there, it comes with the toe kick down there. You simply lift that up to turn the vacuum on. And there is also an accessories bag that comes with it, which would have your hoses to sweep out the camper. Now we'll take a look in the bathroom area. You'll notice right inside, we're gonna have your toilet. We have a nice medicine cabinet or your vanity area here. You can see the uh, extended counter space over to the left. We have your single bowl sink, a 110 outlet, toilet paper holder on the back wall over here. We are going to have your control panels to see how full your tanks are. And also to turn your water pump on and off. Right above that is the three switches. We have 12 volt heating pads on all of your holding tanks, fresh water, gray water, and black water. And then right above that, we have your thermostat for the on-demand water heater. So you can turn that on and off and adjust the temperature. We have some hooks mounted on the wall for your towels. At the very top, we have this really large Max Air exhaust fan. That is a multi-speed exhaust fan as well. And then over here, we have your medicine cabinet right above the sink area. In the shower area, it is more of a a rectangle shower, as you'll notice down below here. So plenty of room in here. The shower curtain also pulls straight across and follows this track right up top. So you don't have to worry about the shower curtain sticking to you while taking a shower. So you can see it goes straight across here and it keeps it nice and tight for you. At the very top is included with the skylight and then of course we have the shower surround that goes all the way around here and your built-in shower head with the on off switch up top and your hot and cold water down below here and now we'll take a step out and finish the kitchen area that continues in the slide room portion here you'll notice under the oven we have a storage compartment down there we have four storage drawers off to the right hand side also a unique feature is we have the Surveyor logo with a bottle opener built in right beside the oven. The oven is also gonna be deeper than what you typically see. We have the three burner stove top. It is equipped with the glass cover, so you can use that as prep space if you are not cooking. In the back here, we also have this cup for holding different utensils and I apologize, it will work better if this blind is out. We'll try to move that real quick. And as you can see, it also has the Surveyor logo on here as well. Another unique feature that Surveyor does. We have the window in the kitchen area here. Extra counter space off to the right. Up top with your microwave and range vent. You also get an additional cabinet up there. Here we have your 12 volt refrigerator. It is 12 volt only, but that's why we have all the additional solar to help run that when you are not plugged in and while traveling down the road. And as you can see, it is much deeper than the gas electric style that we used to carry. 
Here we have your theater seat where each seat will recline. There's a parachute handle on both sides. You have cup holders on the outside and armrests that will lay down right there and also have cup holders as well. More windows and doors up top. A really nice feature I would like to point out in here is that as you open this up, you'll notice that the doors will stay open. We have the gas struts included here, which also makes a really big difference. Now up in the bedroom area, this camper is equipped with a queen size mattress. That is a residential 60 by 80 queen size mattress. You'll notice we have these storage drawers built in at the foot of the bed. You also get cabinets on both sides, built in nightstands, extra storage cabinets, and then your hanging closets on both sides. Also on each nightstand, we're gonna get a 12 volt charge port and 110 outlet as well. And then behind on each side of the bed, you are also gonna get a couple shelves back there with a cup holder. And there is also another 110 outlet built into the backside there. So if you have a CPAP machine or for charging your phones, it is perfect for that. As I lift open the bed here, you'll see there is additional storage under the bed with a motion sensor light. And then also with your drawers here. And then of course there is windows on both sides of the bed here. So lots of natural light here. Nice open floor plan. Coming in at only 27 foot long, makes it perfect for your half ton vehicles. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Surveyor 203 MKLE, 204 MKLE. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.